good morning everyone and as promised you can still hear I'm, I'm a bit sleepy still today we will be going through my entire hair care routine and this is something that I always put off because like I have to film this right on my hair washing day um, which is a day that I do not like I do not enjoy washing my hair it is so annoying and tedious and I have a lot of hair and it's just everything takes so long to do because well my hair is extra long now and I just have a lot of it but anyways I thought the first thing we would do today is go through all the products that I use. Oh my god, look at my necklaces today. But I thought we would go through all the products that I use for my hair. So let's start off with, well, shampoo, conditioner, etc. As I mentioned in my Sephora recommendations, like kind of like what was in my basket, I have been using the Kerastase Symbios range. Um, there is also this third product, which I will talk about in a second. But this is the shampoo and the conditioner. This is the range. That just to have changed my hair game so i have never really had like really bad dandruff i've always just had like little white specks all through my hair not really noticeable until you get like nice up and close but this completely stopped that and i know that it is this because every time i travel and i use other shampoo and conditioners all those little kind of like white specks they come back um and on top of that this just keeps my hair feeling really really clean for the full duration of my non-washing days and then the conditioner honestly i think the conditioner is nothing special you can use whatever conditioner um you like but if you do have i, th I would say dandruff that's a little bit worse than what i have maybe use this and this is actually a conditioner that you can put through your scalp to help your um scalp just be a little bit healthier but again for me that my dandruff isn't that bad i don't i don't think this is fully necessary i just put it on my ends um so i can use another one but this is the one that's really 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 good and then part of the range is this product right here this is the scalp purifying micro peeling scrub this was gifted to me i don't think it's anything exciting i would not repurchase this but again for someone who's dealing with really really bad dandruff maybe this is something you could try um incorporating into your routine it is supposed to help just really like as it says um purify your scalp and get rid of everything that's there it is more i wish i could show you the texture it literally well yeah you can kind of see it there it's like a ton of little you can kind of see it in the lid there it's like a ton of beads that are in this it's like a gel with a ton of like exfoliating beads i will say it does feel really nice on the scalp but i don't know how much it does so that is what i have been using for my hair regardless i would say i've been using these two the most that's why like i'm pretty much out um this one there's still quite a bit left in there i don't use it as often but these ones are game changing and I love them for my hair. I also would just recommend Kerastase in general. I would say find the range that works for you if you have thin hair, curly hair, dry hair, dry scalp, a little bit of dandruff scalp like me. Um, find the range that works for you. I think Kerastase is a brand that I truly, truly do recommend. Moving on from washing the hair, we go on to heat protection. I was so bad with my empties. I left so many things out. Another thing I have been saving is my Jisoo heat protection. I literally had saved this one's empty. I saved it at my desk to show you guys and I completely forgot alongside with my Summer Fridays SPF. But this is my new bottle. This is the Jisoo Propolis Infused Heat Protecting Spray. This is the one I've been using for several years now. Actually, they gifted me this heat protectant like three years ago, minimum three years ago, and I have been repurchasing it ever since. Every time I run out, I get it. I like it because it's really lightweight. It has a really lovely light scent. I find that some of the heat protectants I've used in the past leave my hair a little bit greasy and weighed down and it just feels like I'm putting product in my hair and I don't like that feeling because I just, I want my hair to be as voluminous as possible. Um, and so that's why I really like this one. It was a little bit pricey, but it works really, really well for my hair. And then I typically really focus this on the front sections of my hair because that is where I put the most heat and then obviously just everywhere else. But I really focus it in those front areas. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a really great heat protectant, this is one of my favorites. Really lightweight, really lovely. And then this is one that I've really enjoyed. This is the Blowout Styling Milk. Um, this, to me, the biggest difference that it makes is that it gives me a nice smooth blowout. Now, this works with the blowout. If you are air drying your hair and using, you know, a curling wand or a straightener, I don't know how well this is gonna work because it's intended for a blowout. So I do use this with my blow dryer and my round brush and it works fabulously. It also cuts down the drying time so much it's astonishing how much quicker it makes my hair drying time i've used almost the entire bottle it's really really lovely i only need one pump for all of my hair maybe a pump and a half depending i don't need a lot for this and it literally says one to two pumps in hand and rub together disperse evenly all over damp hair and blow dry with a round brush or as desired 
really really great also i will say i think the smell of this it's fine. It's not my favorite smell, but the product itself works. So yeah, there. that's my last product that I use in my hair um, on a regular basis. Now, if some of you are wondering about like oils, hair oils, anything to prevent and help frizz, I have really dialed back the hair oils. I just feel like they weigh down my hair, but this is my recommendation in terms of a hair oil that sort of prevents frizz and stuff like that. This is the Preology Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. I have been using this for years. I think they've even like changed the packaging now. This is not what it looks like anymore. Um, but it's really lovely. It also serves as a heat protectant, so you can try it as that. But for me, I find it really helps just tame the frizz in my hair. It gives a really smooth look, again, without weighing down the hair um, and it love how this smells. It smells so good. I will just say don't spray this directly into your hair. It's not like a liquid like this. It's more like a, I don't know how you would describe it, but it's a little bit thicker. So I always like to spray this in my hand and then put it on my hair. But yeah, there you go. If you're looking for more like a frizz aid for your hair, this is really great. This is also really great for color treated hair. I don't have color treated hair anymore, um, but this is what I use every so often when my hair needs like, extra help in the frizz department but yeah there we go okay anyways i am gonna go give a hair wash because this is this is a greasy situation we are dealing with it's not looking its best it's a little dry on the ends it's very very greasy look at that that's so gross i told you i would come on here with my gross greasy hair but um anyways this is what it looks like after seven days a lot of people ask me like sam how do you keep your hair looking so good for like six days i'm like well it doesn't look great by six days. I was just slick it back. There's like an evolution of my hair where it's like really great for like two and a half days. And then by the third day, I bring in my dry shampoo and then I start slicking it back. So for the last two, three days, it, you will see me in ponytails and buns. Um, not out of choice, but out of necessity. So that is what I do. But I do use those two, three days with my hair in a bun or in a ponytail because I have I have life to live. I can't wash my hair every three days. It, it's too long of a process to do so. And I feel like people with a lot of hair and curly hair will understand how much of a process it is. But anyways, let's go wash my hair and then we'll style it together and put in all the products and I'll show you how I use all of these products um, to style my hair. So let's do it. Okay, hair is all washed and now let's do some skincare. officially ran out of my Venusaurus creme sorbet so I picked up a new one at the Sephora sale and it's now time to open it up <laughs> nothing like a fresh oh, bottle of cuddly there you go you guys are witnessing the first empty for my next empties video <laughs> and don't forget your SPF gonna go in with my summer fridays spf today my skin is feeling a million times better it's so healthy it's so glowy it feels so good even though my period is like four days away my skin should be at its literal worst and it's looking pretty good just taking my hair out of my towel here i left it in there for a little bit just so i could get most of like the water out of it otherwise my hair just holds on to moisture and water and it takes even longer to dry can you get that brush? And if you're curious about what brush I use, I'm using this palm shell hairbrush, although I don't think hairbrushes are that big of a deal. I think they kind of all do the same thing. Once I've done that, I go in with my heat protectant. I do go in with quite a lot of heat protectant, but I will say, because I only style my hair once a week, I feel like this product lasts me so long that I really only have to repurchase it like maybe once or twice a year max. And then I will go in with one pump and a half of the JVN Blowout Styling Milk. And I'll start it at the bottoms and then just kind of work my way through the rest of my hair. And 
there we go. That is the prep for my hair and my blowout. So now let's grab a peineta, as we call it in Spanish, otherwise like a hair clip thing. Is that? And then I'm using this Osencia round brush. I just got it off of Amazon. It is the 43 barrel size. I think I could go a little bit bigger, but this one has been really nice. It creates a nice little curl at the bottom of the hair. First thing is separating the hair. And I'm using my Dyson. Now, I feel like some people will say that the hair dryer doesn't matter as much or like the hair tool that you're using doesn't matter. But for me, I have found that the Dyson blow dryer makes a huge difference. Because I have curly hair, I feel like it really tames all the frizz, especially just like through the hair. So for me, the hair dryer does make a huge difference. If you have like smoother, maybe not as frizzy hair, it may not make as huge of a difference. But for me, I am a huge, huge fan of my Dyson. Sonic hair dryer, so good. I will say this has taken me lots and lots of practice to kind of nail down the perfect blowout, but practice makes perfect. Now I always like to hold the hair in the brush for a second and then I let it go and you have a lovely little sort of swoopy, swoopy swoop. And then that's the movement. I do the same movement throughout my entire head of hair. And again, like start with smaller pieces. You can eventually work your way up to bigger pieces. Um, but again, I always like to concentrate that air right at the root to make sure that that's nice and straight. And then what I like to do is once I've got to sort of, you can see that I've got some curls here, I like to go in once more with all that hair. So I've applied heat to that to sort of end curls and now I'm just letting it sit there for a second. And then slowly letting it go. And there you go, you got a super nice swoop. And there you go, now you can see the difference in both sides. Super smooth, this side needs some love. I'm gonna finish my hair and then come back to you with a full head of hair. Hair is almost done. Now the last touch to my hair, as you can see there's still quite a bit of frizz going on here as well as up here. Now, yes you can use oils, but my favorite thing to use is actually the like anti-frizz or whatever it's called flyaway attachment from Dyson. This is always the finishing touch to my hair. Just look at that difference. There's so much frizz going on on this side. And here we are so smooth now. It is fabulous how good that attachment is, especially if you've got like frizzy hair like me. So now I'm just gonna flip this around and do my other side. And look at how smooth that is. And of course, finishing touch because I have curly hair, I'm just gonna use my flat iron and I'm gonna get all of my little sort of edges that I missed. See here, there's still a lot of curls going on there. So I'm gonna capture all that with my flat iron. I'm just using my curl. And there you go, that is how I do my blowout. Today it turned out a little bit straighter than usual, but I mean, that's just the nature of a blowout. I feel like every time I do it, it looks a little bit different, but there you go. That is how I do my hair from start to finish. Like I said, I do this once a week. It has taken me about two hours at least from washing to styling and all that. So it is quite time consuming, but that's okay. It's worth every minute, but um, yeah. Anyways, I am going to go and do my makeup now and get ready for the day. I have lots to do today, but I do want to make some time a little bit later to show you a few new pieces that I got, which I'm very excited about. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's go. I just finished getting myself ready. Makeup is looking so fabulous. I'm still using that um, live tinted like skin tint. Here, let me show it to you. 
I mentioned this in my last video. It looks like this. It's kind of like glowy drops that you can wear alone or with your foundation. Um, it says to apply to face, body, for everyday moisture and glow. Wear alone or over makeup. It's so good. I don't know if you can see the glow in my skin. I have been mixing this with my Chanel Water Fresh Skin Tint and oh my goodness, I love it so much. And some of you were asking, I have the shade Dusk. They do have different shades, but I do love the sort of like bronzy looking one. Anyways, that's sort of my makeup for today. I really, really love it. And then for my fragrance, I'll have to show you my Sephora order, but I'll do that in next vlog, so next Sunday, because I'm still waiting for a few things to come in. But I finally bought it. I bought the full size of the Maker Naked Fragrance. Oh, it's so good. I just want to like mm, bathe in this fragrance. It is so good. I think I like it more than Lover, which is like they're both beautiful but this one is just so unique and every time i wear it i will walk into a room and someone will be like what are you wearing you smell so good and it's this one right here it's so good also i just i love the bottle and i can now refill my little travel size all of their travel sizes are refillable now i do have stuff to show you a few pieces that i have received in the mail but for now because i have to go out and run some errands this is just my outfit for the day i just wanted to quickly show you before i head out the door i've got my Smythe blazer one of my most loved blazers i just love the color i think i look really good in like this sort of pale butter yellow color really really love it i've got my will oversized shirt from reformation one of my favorite white shirts i will link it below if you're looking for that like perfect oversized white shirt this one is really really good highly recommend honestly and then these are some new jeans from la gens and they just sent them to me and i actually love them i did pick them out myself but they kindly sent them to me they're like almost like a calotte style you can't really see the bottom but they've got a super cool seam down the front and the denim is butter soft, so comfy. And I'm just wearing it with my, I feel like Gen Z doing this. I'm just showing you my sneakers, uh, my sneakers. I'm wearing sneakers today, but um, that's my outfit. Very simple and I'm forgetting the best part. This is my bag for the day. It's from Parissa Wang. The brand is New York based and I just loved all their designs. They kind of reminded me a little bit of Strathberry in the sense that they were all very, very sort of elegant and timeless. Um, they did have some more modern styles, but this one is the one that I really liked. I love the color. You guys know I love a good burgundy bag. It goes such a long way. It's got a top handle. It's got a crossbody. You guys know those are two things that I feel like I just always want in a bag because it allows me to wear it for more than just like one occasion or more than one way. And I just, I love it. It does have sort of that texture. It reminds me of kind of my Pollen bags, but um, it does have that textured leather, which is really nice. It's gonna make it super, super hard wearing. But again, as soon as I saw this, I fell in love. And I just felt like it went really, really nicely with the pale yellow. So that's it for my outfit. I'm gonna swap all of my things for my other handbag, I think. No, I have to find the handbag I was wearing last and put everything in here to go up. While I swap things out, I will chat to you. I don't know if I've told you, but I have a very exciting event next week. It's a lovely dinner um, and I don't have anything to wear. So I'm actually going to go out and see if I can find some sort of dress or suit um, to wear to the dinner. I am thinking just because of the vibes of the brand. I'm not sure if I can tell you yet, but I'm thinking because of the brand, I kind of want it to be a very neutral outfit. So I'm thinking creams and whites. I feel like this is a huge part of the job that like no one talks about but when you go to events you're obviously going to be photographed and you want to represent not only the brand of the dinner that you're going to but also the space so if you're going to be like in a black environment or like in a restaurant that's all black you don't want to wear black because so you're going to blend in i have looked at the venue it's um it's quite neutral like a lot of sort of organic earthy tones so I feel like with an earthy tone behind me, I feel like a white will stand out without being like an eyesore. Like I don't want to be wearing red or teal. I feel like that'll just not look right. Um, but anyways, that's kind of what I'm looking for. So ideally neutrals and whites for this event. Um, we'll see, we'll see how, I, we'll see what I can find. <laughs> I found the handbag I was wearing last. Got that, my sunnies. I'm just gonna put that in here. Beautiful. Feeling good. Let's go. Hello, I am home now and immediately got 
into comfies. Um, how cute is this sweater? Caudalie gave me this. It says French girl on it and it's from the brand called Province of Canada. Super cute like sweatwear brand from Canada if you're looking to support a local or just Canadian brand. I love it. I just, I love the French girl concept. It's perfect for Caudalie. But I ended up stopping and picking up some soup as well as some juices for dinner tonight. So I think I'm just gonna warm up that soup that I picked up. It was like a lentil soup. I don't know, I love lentil soup. Um, and I have some leftover salad from dinner. Not last, yeah, was it last night? Yeah, last night. So I think I'm gonna have that for dinner. I'm gonna start putting it all together and have a very chill night. Um, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work, but I'm gonna sit on the couch, put a movie on, and do some work whilst I relax. So it's perfect. <laughs> This camera is living life on the edge because you're currently on a bottle of wine, but I picked up a beet juice This one has orange beet carrot red apple ginger. I love beet juice It is like if I'm you know going to a juice store and I'm picking a juice It always is gonna be the beet one. It is my favorite. I love the flavor of it It's kind of like earthy and then this is the soup that I picked up. So it says what are the ingredients lentil onion um, olive oil, cumin, turmeric, Himalayan salt. Super simple, but so delicious. So I think I'm gonna give this a shake and I'm just gonna warm it up in a pot on the stove and have this for dinner. I also, like I said, have some salad. I'm just gonna chop the remainder of this. I also have some fennel in here. I don't know if any of you like fennel. I love fennel, so I'm gonna chop, yeah, there you go. Some fennel here, lettuce here, and it's so simple, but my favorite dressing, aside from the Mandy's dressing, is Olive Garden. Italian sauce. I remember the day this became available in Canada. Like, my life changed. I love this dressing so much. I remember back in the day, people used to be like, oh, my parents just went to like the US and they brought back jars of Olive Garden Italian sauce. And now we can just buy it here. I've been buying it for a few years now. It's so delicious. It's so salty and mm, makes any salad delicious. This is not an ad, but Olive Garden Italian seasoning. So good. Let's get cooking. Jack, we're here. I can't open this. Oh, got it. Mmm. Oh, smells so good. So, so, so good. Now, I think I was going to freeze this, but I might just leave it in the fridge and have the rest of it tomorrow. The best thing about this is that it's $11. $11. I feel like a lot of the health food stores that sort of like sell these soups sell them for so expensive. You know, $11 is not cheap, but like we're talking $20 is what most of these soups are sold at. And Dinner is served. This is a very simple meal. Each one, soup and salad. I mean, it doesn't get, it's not very fancy, but it's yummy. Hello everyone. I am feeling rather comfy and casual today. Um, I'm just not feeling my best. I'm a little bloated today, so I just wanted to be nice and comfy and cash. But I wanted to show you these new pieces that I got in that I promised I was gonna show you and I never ran around to. So let's do it. Let's start off with the best. This is a beautiful new blazer from La Gence. This is a brand from Los Angeles and they have a lot of like classic pieces like this, a lot of shirts, a lot of trousers, and a lot of denim, which is something I've been really enjoying recently. But this is the first piece that I picked up. It's a beautiful green and white herringbone blazer. You've got gold buttons and this is a little bit of a shorter blazer, which as I mentioned in my styling haul, if you watch that, I really love to reach for shorter blazers for when pairing with like midi to full length skirts. I think this particular style just cinches you in in all the right places and allows the skirt to just be like the star of the show. Um, but for spring, I loved the color of this blazer. I think it's such a nice blazer to pair with lighter colors as opposed to wearing black as I stand here 
wearing black. Um, but let me show you in a little bit closer. I just love the herringbone on this blazer and the color is, oh, I love it. Such a beautiful material. You can tell that the quality is really, really lovely as well. Now I will have to try these on, if not in this vlog, maybe in next vlog. But the next piece that I picked up is this classic white and blue striped shirt. Now, although this is a very classic piece, I feel like it's a little bit fun with the white contrasting collar, as well as the cuffs on the sleeves there. Now, I feel like these little touches make this rather classic shirt a little bit more fun. I feel like it's just something different that you can wear, but again, I thought this would be really fun in the summer with some flowy white trousers or shorts or even some skirts. It tucks in really, really well. And I feel like on off-duty days, I love the look of just like an open shirt with a tank top underneath. It's so cute. <laughs> Next up, we have one that I feel like might cause up a conversation. We have a pair of classic skinny jeans. Now, I, as I mentioned, have been looking for a pair of dark wash skinny jeans, and I was actually gonna pick them up from Holland Cooper, the Jode Per jeans, but they don't have my size in the petite style. I actually even tried to buy them in the UK and they were sold out. So anyways, we're trying something different. <laughs> These are, again, from Lajez. They're a classic cropped skinny jean and they're made of the most beautiful, soft, stretchy denim. Um, I am not a raw denim girl. I've done it once in my life. Never again. Well, I mean, maybe not never, but it's gonna have to be really good raw denim because no jean, no nothing is worth that amount of discomfort. But these are really, really lovely. They're a fantastic length on me. They hit just at my ankle length. Now, I'm not 100% sure what the inseam is on these, but I'm gonna guess it's around 25 inches just by how they sit on me. If you're around my height, these are such a fantastic length and you don't need to get them hemmed. Um, and again, I just thought they were such a lovely blue. I feel like everybody needs a pair of good, comfortable skinny jeans. They're such, in my opinion, a wardrobe staple um, and I love them. So there you go. A new pair of skinny jeans. <laughs> Last but not least, we have another pair of jeans. These are more of a wide leg calotte style. Um, as you can see, they're more of a um, lighter wash, but a lovely seam right down the middle. I'll back you up in a second to show you the length of them. But again, really nice casual style just to wear how I'm wearing. You can even add a blazer over top of this, put on some sling backs, and you're gonna look really, really lovely. I feel like when jeans are made in that culotte style, it makes them look so much more elevated than just a regular sort of like straight leg jean. Um, but yeah, really, really love these. They fit so nicely. I will say with La Gents, this is my first time ever trying on any of their jeans. I will say, consider sizing down. I usually wear around a 26 in jeans and these are 26 and I don't know if you can tell but I've got a good amount of um, room back here. So I could have sized down to a 25. Same with the skinny jeans. I got a 26, could have probably sized down to a 25 um, and maybe that's just because the jeans are rather stretchy. These are the jeans I just put on my sneakers to show you them and they are so, so lovely. Again, fantastic length, and I love the wide leg style on them. I also really like this front pleat. I don't know, I feel like all the details on these jeans make them look so, so lovely. There's the bum situation. <laughs> really, really cute. And again, the denim, much like the skinny jeans, super soft, super stretchy. Um, just makes them feel very, very comfortable, especially for jeans. I feel like if I'm going to wear jeans, they have to be very, very comfortable. Otherwise, I'm just not going to reach for them very often. So... There you go. These are my newest jeans. And just to show you a little bit closer, you've got the front pleat, really, really lovely. Very classic back. I also have two more things to show you, which I hope that by the time you guys see this, they haven't fully, fully sold out. But I recently ordered some new bathing suits, which have yet to arrive. But when I ordered those, I immediately ordered these two cover-ups from H&M and they were literally almost sold out. There was only like extra small, small left. Um, but I thought they were so fabulous for the beach, the pool, whatever. These are two sort of super long mesh cover-ups. I'll start with the white one. It's just a classic v-neck, but then it's just made out of this like beautiful mesh material. I don't know if you can see that there. It is so beautiful. I feel like it's pieces like this that are like a little bit sexy. You can still see your bathing suit underneath, um, but like you still feel a little bit covered up. So I actually picked it up in both colors. I picked it up in the white 
so lovely and it's also got some really high leg slits which again i feel like just look beautiful when you're walking down the beach or the pool so i got it in the white and they also had it available in this gorgeous chocolate brown color oh um, so of course I had to get it in this chocolate brown color. Again, you can see how see-through it is. So lovely for like the beach or pool or if you're going to like a resort this summer. Um, just so amazing. They, these came in the mail yesterday and I was like, oh my God, I have to show everybody in hopes that they don't sell out um, right away. But yeah, I will link them down below and cross fingers that some of you ladies can get your hands on them. They're so lovely. And the quality is honestly really, really lovely on them. Like for H&M, I think they were about 70 bucks, not super cheap, but I mean, not bad. The quality is pretty, pretty good. But anyways, I'm gonna finish getting myself ready and packed up. I'm spending the weekend with Jack and mom and dad, and we are doggy sitting this weekend, Jack and I, and maybe get out to do some golfing. I have been slacking on my golf, okay? And golf is so hard, like it requires, in my opinion, so much practice and so much time and living in the city it's not like i have a golf course like two minutes away so it's so hard for me to practice also especially in the winter but we're gonna get out and do that this weekend and i'm very excited i also realized that my new holland cooper contour trousers are like the perfect golf trouser now i feel like when it comes to men's golf fashion it's a little bit more like there's more rules more etiquette right it's a little bit easier to find different things for women's golf i feel like it's a little bit like all over the place it's like oh you can't wear leggings but in some courses you can it's like you can wear shorts for like tournaments, men can't, and I don't know, just really weird. But one of the things I noticed is that when Jack goes golf, he's like, well, you have to have a belt. But when women wear skirts, you obviously can't wear a belt. If you wear like leggings, you can't wear a belt. And then I realized, I was like, oh my God, my contour trousers are the perfect sort of like athletic material that you can wear a belt with and a cute little polo. And it's like perfect for golf. Um, I also just ordered a like little quarter zip from Holly Cooper to do like a full golf look. <laughs> I'll have to show it to you when it arrives. Um, but I'm so excited. So maybe I'll show you my outfit this weekend um, when we go. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm totally ranting about random stuff. I just wanted to tell you about that because it came to mind and I was like, oh my God, how did I not realize this sooner? So if you're into golf, check out the contour trousers for golf. Um, you can wear any belt with them. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go get ready now to go and stop blabbering.